What's going down, AMD fam? And today we're going to be covering the mid patch notes. Windows is updated with the 3.5 and the 4.8 of their framework, and well, it's gone from the good, the bad, and the ugly nowadays for as far as what we can and can't use, especially with the advanced scheduling that they're offering, as well as the variable fresh rate that you can get into. So, my name is Mac at the McGarry 7th channel. Today, we're going to be covering some AMD related news and the way it's going to integrate with the Windows ecosystem. So, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the just the time spy stuff that I noticed straight off the bat because it is pretty well it's consistent now uh, if you watched last week's episode it was pretty twack but this one is pretty dialed in but it definitely you're gonna see some uh, reductions unfortunately to get off straight off the bat so one of the very first benchmarks we're gonna be looking at right here is the windows prior to it installing its circumvent so it was kind of decent and the last few weeks prior to that it was roughly dialed in right around that time like baseline about the 2100 club with everything being neutral with the increasements from week to week there has been a pretty decent for just having it native without the advanced scheduling um, so I, I definitely do see a tiny bit for as far as if you look at the graphics score now this is where it gets a little bit more of a crazy situation where it kind of sucks because it's like we're always toggling off and on the advanced scheduling um, because this is what you're going to see with the advanced scheduling not turned on but you have a little bit of portions of just having your variable fresh rate now you, if you have your advanced scheduling on it tanks so i mean this is just directx 11 when i texted directx 12 i kind of came down to the same bare bones situations what we were coming down to um so it seems like the circumvent it, just to keep everything native you should be pretty much fine for the most part if you are experiencing some issues just try the variable fresh rate if you happen to have it on uh, but it seems like what they're trying to do is fix what they kind of mopped up the amd update that just got installed the 20.8.3 which i thought was pretty decent it overclocks pretty well runs pretty like uh, sustainable at least for the stuff that i'm doing for my computing i'm really curious to hear what the community out there has to say for what they've been utilizing their gpus are excited for big navi that's gonna be pretty cool 30 80 comparison running at a normal 250 watts super efficient from what i've been hearing um so i mean like if you're doing like computing i can definitely see how that that would be a really attractive thing versus a 3080 which is pulling a lot of wattage nowadays but those are really cool in the 3090s and the generation of what we're going to be seeing nvidia versus amd but everyone thank you so much for staying tuned this little short clip it portion of what we're doing with the testing of what's going on with the benchmarks i'll see you guys and gals in the near future if you're new to the network you can always subscribe it's absolutely free it helps me as a creator and for all the community members that have been returning their links down below you can definitely use and it portals into amazon helps me as a creator and i will see you guys and gals in the near future um, and if you are new and subscribed today, who knows? Maybe just maybe South Park will actually come up with another new season because man I feel like Their comedy is just needed right now. It's just always good stuff. It's worldly. It's classy, but who knows? We'll see what uh, Matt and Trey are up to one of these days <laughs> in the near future, but stay classy everyone and Keep it neutral when it comes down to all your settings on the Windows ecosystem because it kind of seems like it's a little garbage with the advanced scheduling and the variable fresh rate on